Hello everyone and welcome to another tutorial video. On this video we're going to be going over on how to add a HTML code or an iframe to your website. So first off let's go over here into add element. We're going to go down to apps. Once you click on it we're going to go to add HTML code over here. We're going to click on it and this gray box is going to appear on our screen. We can drag it all the way down to fit our screen. Let's just go ahead and do that right now. And once you fit it to your screen, you can right click it to start editing it. First, we're gonna go on edit. And over here is where you can insert your HTML code. And you can also choose the type of HTML that you wanna use. Down here, you can put your coding in if you have any. If you guys don't know any coding for your website that you want, you can also do a link. And just keep in mind guys that this HTML coding over here it is not the same as the one that you will find, for example, over here. It's not going to be the same as the head scripts. And just keep that in mind so you guys don't mess that up once you guys are putting in your codes. We're going to go back to over here. And if you guys don't have any coding to add, you can add a link, as I said before. For this example, we're going to add Builderall. You can click Confirm. Once you click Confirm, the link should be added to your website and the website should work normally as the original website should. We're just going to go on preview so you see how it looks. Over here is the linked website of Builderall. As you can see, it works perfectly fine. All the buttons work. If I scroll down, I can choose a plan. I can buy it now. I can do everything that the original website would let me do. I'm just going to go ahead and go over to the editor. Once you guys did that, you guys are pretty much set up adding your HTML. You can also edit the animation, the scroll animation. You can show on all pages. You can set for it to be on the entire page. For example, if I click this, it will go to the 100% of my page. I can pin the element to any of the borders. And we can also center it. This is how you add an HTML code to your website. Thank you for watching and have a great day.